Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about balance and equilibrium. Uh, so we've talked a lot about balance, equilibrium, and stability in past lectures, um, but now we're going to talk about them in terms of linear and uh, angular movement and using some of the terms that we've covered up until this point. Uh, so equilibrium is when a system is at rest or maintaining a constant velocity during movement. Um, and so then we could say it's in a state of equilibrium. So then there's different aspects of equilibrium, uh, depending on whether it's uh, in a linear direction, an angular direction, and whether the system is moving or stationary. So linear equilibrium is when the sum of the external forces acting on a system equals zero, uh, such as in a game of tug of war with equally matched opponents. So this is linear equilibrium uh, because all of the forces that these people are applying when they're pulling on the rope, those are happening in a collinear uh, direction. So the direction is opposite, but the forces are collinear, meaning that their orientation uh, is happening the force is happening in the same line of action. Uh, so as long as each side exerts the same amount of force, the sum of the forces equals zero. So in one direction, all of the forces would be positive, and in the opposite direction, all of the same equal forces would be negative. And so when we add them all up, then the sum is zero, and that is linear equilibrium. Rotational equilibrium is when the sum of external torques on a system equals zero. So really, it, torque is, of course, the tendency of a force to cause rotation around an axis. So we're saying when we look at all of the forces causing torque at, on that system or at that axis of rotation, um, when we add them all up, do those equal zero? So do we have opposing torques that cancel each other out, just like we saw in the last slide? Uh, so in this picture, you see two kids on a teeter-totter or a seesaw. Um, and so if they weigh the same, because that is the force at play here, it's the, the weight of the kid, so their mass against gravity, um, if they weigh the same, then those two forces are equal and they would cause the same amount of torque, meaning those forces would cause the same amount or have the same propensity to cause the same amount of rotation around that axis. So if they have the same, then those two torques would cancel each other out and they would sit in balance like that, and that is rotational equilibrium. Um, so in either case, in linear or rotational equilibrium, it could happen in a non-moving system or in a moving system. It could happen either way. So whether it's moving or non-moving, we call it dynamic equilibrium or static equilibrium. Uh, so dynamic means that the system is already in motion, uh, but it's in equilibrium, so it's not changing in speed or direction, which would be velocity, um, and it would either be in linear or rotational equilibrium. Static equilibrium is when a system is not moving, uh, but again, it would be in either linear or rotational equilibrium. Um, so linear and rotational equilibrium could both be either dynamic or static. Uh, dynamic just meaning that the state of motion is not changing, and static just meaning that the object is not moving. Okay, and as we've discussed before, balance is a matter of control. Uh, so it's the ability to use effort and coordination to control equilibrium. So equilibrium either is or is not, and balance is the ability to control that state of equilibrium. Um, so equilibrium is the state of the system and balance is the ability to control it. And balance is an ability that can decay over time or can improve over time. Um, so it's an ability just like any other ability that we might have. It's an ability that we can work on or that can, can fall away. Okay, that's all I have for you here. Thank you for watching.